I'm Merritt Gurley. Good morning and welcome to Media Bytes for May 23, 2008. First up, Yahoo is postponing its annual shareholders meeting. The decision comes after one of the board members resigned and the remaining nine are up for re-election in the face of Carl Icahn's proxy fight. Carl Icahn has already selected his board members, which include Frank Biondi and Mark Cuban. The stage is set for a showdown. Google co-founder Larry Page is putting even more momentum behind his push for public access to white space. Page has spent the past few days in Washington urging the FCC to utilize the wireless spectrum for free, unlicensed use. The $51.8 billion leverage buyout of Bell Canada has been quashed by an appeals court. The unforeseen ruling has put the largest leverage buyout in history at risk. In response, Bell Canada has issued an appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada and will extend the closing date to June 30th. Lenovo more than doubled its profits during its fiscal fourth quarter, aided by strong international sales in China, Europe and the Middle East. Despite a slowing U.S. economy, the computer manufacturer reported a profit of $140 million, up from $60.3 million a year ago. Lenovo, who showed 21% overall growth in the first quarter of 2008, is the fourth largest PC manufacturer in the world. Congress is close to resolving a year-long debate over whether or not telecoms should get immunity for cooperating with government surveillance. If reached, the deal would push offenders to a secret national security court. While the deal has been gaining support from all sides, it needs to be approved by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to come up for a vote on the House floor. Visit ShellyPalmer.com to learn more about it and for news you can use about technology, media, and entertainment. For Media Bites, I'm Merritt Gurley.